Uh, greetings when you're hearing my voice. Either you stumbled onto this podcast by accident, on purpose. Could merely be bad luck, however. Let's call it serendipity. Uh, my name's Jim Ellermeyer. I'm a behavioral health therapist here at Seclair, and today I'm joined by two of my colleagues. On my right would be... Amanda. I'm a PA student from Mount Union. And on my left... And I'm Holly, and I'm a PA student from Chatham University. And every week at Seclair Educational Rounds, we attempt to bring uh, some facts, some instruction, some information that could actually be useful in your life. We just don't tell you to jump rope because it's good for you. So what we're doing is we're looking for, we're looking for individuals who are interested in uh, removing the shackles that hold you back, perhaps entering a fourth dimension of existence, opening your eyes and developing sight and raising the anchor in your life. Here at Seclair, we're looking for people to challenge. We're looking for people to help them turn certainties into possibilities, to regain your curiosity, and to have an open and non judgmental mind. So, let's talk about the uh, proliferation of podcasts that, that, that's dealing with mindfulness, that's dealing with, with self help. There are many of them, aren't there? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What, what, and, and what do you think the reason for that is, Holly? Um, just people are becoming more mindful. Um, want to learn a little bit more about mindfulness and uh, just looking at different resources to be able to find out how to uh, how to, to think that way and be a part of it. Mm -hmm. And you, Amanda? Yeah, I think <clears throat> more people are trying to pra practice mindfulness and in coping with stressors in life, it's a good outlet. Mm -hmm. Do you think people uh, today want to be told what to do? Do you think no. people? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Do you think do you think there were more followers or leaders? Followers. Followers, absolutely. So what happens sometimes, I believe that with the proliferation of social media and all these different things, Google, people are losing their ability to be curious and people are losing their ability to question. Uh, people are losing their sense of adventure. Do you have a sense of adventure? Yep. Oh, uh, good. How about you, Amanda? <laughs> absolutely. Great, great, great. So if we if we would. Uh, let me introduce a term, down the rabbit hole. What does that mean to you? Mm, it can be thought of in many different ways, but some people think of it as like hallucinogens or when they take some types of medications. Indeed. Indeed. And uh, Miss Holly? Um, I don't know. Maybe just uh, diving down the rabbit hole of being something new in your life, uh, maybe something adventurous, maybe a new career maybe new education, anything, but mm. just something new for you. Indeed, indeed. So sometimes I think of, uh, are you familiar with Alice in Wonderland? Not really. Okay. Are you familiar with Alice in Wonderland? Lewis is Carol? A little bit. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, the Mad Hatter, perhaps many of some of you have known who the Mad Hatter is. No. So Alice, upon going down the rabbit hole, wondering and landing in, landing in uh, Wonderland, uh, she looked around and what the, she was seeing, and she says, this is impossible. And the Mad Hatter answered, only if you believe it is. Mm -hmm. Only if you believe it is. So what we help people do is we help people change perspectives. We help people become the observer. We help people turn certainties into possibilities. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with it, uh, when we talk about Alice in Wonderland, it was... Uh, the tour de force by Lewis Carroll, and down the rabbit hole was a phrase by him. Uh, the book's full of metaphors and similes, and I believe it was a magnificent effort that some say was a literary adventure into nonsense, an in area which apparently I know so well. Uh, however, here in this podcast, in our world, the message that we're attempting to give it is a message of people of hope who've placed themselves outside the rabbit hole, who are trapped in their own comfort zone. Okay, so I, I'm often reminded of a quote by Henry David Thoreau. Are you familiar with him at all? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. That I find has a great deal of meaning. Most men lead lives of quiet desperation and go to the grave with the song still in them. With their song still in them. If there was a song that exemplified your life, what would it be, Amanda? I'd have to give some thought to that one. Okay, okay. Do you ever, do you ever approach life with a, with a song in your heart? Yeah. Is there a song that you'd sing? Um... Not in particular that I can think of right okay. now, but... Well, my hope is that, that you, you express that song and you, and you live it. How about you, Holly? Same thing. I, I can't... None are coming to mind right now, but I will get back to you on that. Okay. <laughs> cool. Cool. So, what we, what we ask people to do is try to put a name to their song. So, remember, every day is a day that we have choices. Do you think of every day that you have a choice? Mm -hmm. Okay. Every day. Did you have choices every day, Holly? Mm -hmm. Do you every ever think day. about that? 
Do you have a choice to be honest? Yeah. To be open? Mm -hmm. To have the willingness to try? Great, then you're on your way when we're, we're ready to chase, we're ready to chase white, white rabbits. So can you give yourself permission to laugh? Yeah. And to live? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to love? Yeah. Great, wonderful. I'm hoping that everybody, are you waiting for somebody to tell you that it's okay? Are you, yeah. wait, are you waiting for somebody to give you permission? Yeah. Do you think it's okay to follow white rabbits? Sure. So sometimes, yeah. sometimes we surround ourselves with people who have negativity, who, who scoff at the idea of following white rabbits, do they not? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Holly, could the, could the white rabbit, could this white rabbit I explain the, uh, represent the unexplained? Yeah. Or the new, could you hold your white rabbits up? Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. great. Uh, the unexplained and the new. Uh, so to quote our good friend Captain Kirk, who you two may know nothing about, is to boldly go where no man has gone before, okay? So have you ever heard the phrase question everything? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you know who came up with that? There's many people. Okay, Einstein, many philosophers, they basically, they said the same thing, okay? Okay, are you curious enough to go through with a new opportunity? Oh my God. Or a yeah. concept? Mm -hmm. Really? Have you done anything recently just for the sheer excitement and adventure of it? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So when, when we do that, we, we don't go to our grave with a song in our hearts, do we? And that's what, that's what I, want, I would like everyone out there, when they have a song and sing, and sometimes that song's not a happy song. Sometimes that sad can be a song, sad song. Sometimes that song can be a, sad, a song of despair. However, it's yours, and I urge you, I urge you to sing it. So quite often, when we when we look for people to guide us, when we look for when we look for things to tell us what to do, sometimes we look for we look for many peaceful places, things, circumstances, mm -hmm. events to tell us what to do. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with a quote by a uh, woman by the name of Alexandra Trentfor. And she said, the best teachers are those who, share, who show you where to look but don't tell you what to see. Isn't that amazing? That's pretty cool. Yeah, what do you That's think about cool. that? I like that quote. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, 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 you like it because? Um, I like it because it kind of pertains to our uh, life in PA school, that some of the best teachers we've had um, have let us find out things for our own but have let us down uh, particular paths. But we needed to learn for ourselves. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. So my suggestion is, is to detach yourself from people who, uh, circumstances and events that tell you how to think. All right? And do you ever meet people that have an inflexible, unshakable doctrine mm -hmm. in their mm -hmm. lives and they expect you to, to, to follow that also? Okay. So when we, when we think about a beginner's mind and we think about living I have five, and we think the joy of a three or four year old child as they, as they approach wonder in every single thing that they see. Mm -hmm. when, did, when did we lose that, Amanda? We just became jaded by our surroundings. Can we get that back? Yeah. Okay, so my challenge to everyone out there <coughs> is to follow those white rabbits. Follow, turn certainties into possibilities. What I term as is white rabbits are possibilities. And going down the rabbit hole is not a, not a bad thing. Going down the rabbit hole, going into the unexplained, going into the new. Would you like to, to, to do some new things? Yeah. Yeah. You ever hear people say, same stuff, different day? Yeah. Yeah. What a, what, what a sad life, huh? Yeah. So my suggestion out there is to follow, is to follow everybody, to see where your cross curiosity goes without, without sitting in judgment of where you're going or particularly pr predicting a particular outcome. Mm -hmm. do you ever, mm -hmm. We often do that, mm -hmm. don't we? we? We set ourselves up. We set ourselves up for unreal, unrealistic expectations. We, we try to know what the outcome is. So, do you have a wonderful life? Yeah. I hope you have a wonderful oh, life. Do you have yeah. a wonderful life? I do. My hope is that you too. I also have a wonderful life. So, at the end of every podcast, what we do is we give a free prescription, fruits, nuts, and vegetables, unplug your television, and perhaps take up fishing. And for a truly mindful experience, we ask that you fish without bait, a lifetime without definitive expectations. I'm asking you to follow that white rabbit wherever it goes. Follow it down the rabbit hole. And, and, if, and if it's not a place where you like to go, take the choice to back out. Take, follow, follow your own heart. My challenge to everyone out there is to be kind to each other. Show a kindness to each other. Quite often we hear people complain about the world, don't we? Mm -hmm. And what did Muhammad Gandhi say? Be the change you want to see in the world. Be the change you want to see in the world. Mm -hmm. The oppressed, the marginalized. The Christian's Bible, Jesus speaks 184 times in the New Testament about the responsibility to help the poor, the marginalized, the oppressed, the imprisoned, the sick, the old, the elderly, the infirm. Do you think he meant it? So that's my challenge to you. Remember, till all are free, none are free. Namaste.